Indonesia is known for their folk tales and one of them it is from Yogyakarta about Nyi Roro Kidul, goddess of the sea. There are many versions of her origin and this is one of it. King Prabu Selewangi the sixth is the ruler of an ancient kingdom in a place called Pajajaran. He loves hunting and in one of his hunting trip, he got separated from his entourage and was lost. After hours of trying to find his way out, he met a beautiful lady who promised that she would show him a way out under one condition. He has to stay with her in her palace deep in the forest for a few days. Charmed by her beauty and left with no other option, King Prabhu agreed. However, he stayed longer than he was initially asked to. He fell in love with the lady and they got married. After a period of time, he finally decided under unknown reasons to return back to his kingdom but without his wife. Overwhelmed with the work that he left behind, a few months passed and eventually, he had forgotten about his wife back in the forest. One peaceful night while the king was asleep, he was awakened by the sound of a baby crying. He got up to track the sound, which led him to find a baby girl in front of his palace main door. He picked the baby up and saw a bright white light flash in front of him. But before he could even react, his beautiful wife, whom he had forgotten, appeared right in front of him. She told him that the baby girl is his daughter and she requested for him to raise her as human. But before the king could give an answer, she vanished mysteriously. The king brought the baby in and named her Princess Kadita. She grew up to be a pretty and elegant lady. Her look constantly reminded the king of his wife from the forest. He tried his best to search for her but to no avail. During his ruling, an ancient rule forbids female descendants to rule a kingdom. Hence, the king asked the princess's blessing for him to remarry. She agreed with her father's request. Soon after, the king married Dewi Mutiara. Within a short period of time, the queen is pregnant. Like many folk tales, she became the evil stepmother to Princess Kadita. She felt her position is threatened as long as the princess is still in the kingdom. Hence, the queen seek help from a witch to curse the princess. Not long after, Princess Kadita was infected with a disgusting skin disease which all the doctors in the nation find no cure for and no earthly medicine could help with the curse. The queen then told the king, fearing this might be contagious, the king has no choice but to send his daughter away. The princess left the palace with a heavy heart. Then the princess found herself alone and abandoned deep in the jungle. One night, she heard a woman's voice telling her to come to the ocean. Although she does not recognize the voice, somehow she knew it was her mother. She followed the voice for days and eventually ended up in the ocean. The moment her skin touches the ocean, all of her wounds were healed instantly. She then decided to stay in there with her mother. From that day on, she was known as Nyi Roro Kidul. For many Indonesians, she is believed to be able to control the waves, sea storms, and even tsunamis. Perlabohan Ratu, a small fishing town in western Java, celebrates an annual holiday on April the 6th as a remembrance of Nyi Roro Kidul. She is to be presented with all sorts of offerings like rice, vegetables, chicken, batek fabrics and others to which locals believe would appease the Queen of Sea. Samudra Beach Hotel, West Java, keeps room 308 furnished with green colours and have it reserved for Nyi Roro Kidul. The room also contains a painting of her by Basuki Abdullah, a famous Indonesian painter. And in modern digital media, Mobile Legends Bang Bang character Kadita and the song Queen of the South by the Bandung band The Panthuras are both created and written inspired by Nyi Roro Kidu as well.